Welcome to the .NET Monthly Roundup for January 2023. I'm John Galloway, and I'll bring you all the highlights in three minutes or less. All right, let's start with Maui news. First off, we have this blog post from James Montemagno looking at five features for building great desktops app with Maui, looking into multi-window, context menu, and more. Uh, Gerald digs, it, digs into the new media element um, and showing how integration with uh, platform features is improved due to ExoPlayer and AV Player uh, support. All right, this is a cool uh, interview with Matt Lacey looking at the App Accelerator. And here, uh, Klaus digs into using MVVM and command binding to migrate a legacy Windows Forms application to modern platforms like .NET MAUI. We have a new release of YARP, yet another reverse proxy, has an RC out with support for .NET 6 and .NET 7. James Newton King digs into route tooling uh, in .NET 8 uh, coming for ASP.NET Core. A lot of cool little demos here. All right, we have a new preview for Visual Studio 2022, uh, updated .NET tooling as well as spell checking and markdown support. Uh, and we have this really cool prototype from uh, Steve Sanderson looking at where we could go with Razor, Blazor, server-side, Blazor, WASM integration. Looking at some of our live streams for this month, uh, here's a look at the to-do API sample from uh, David Fowler. And McKinnon Buck and Daniel Roth show off new and experimental features in Blazor. And here, Jared Parsons is taking a look at C Sharp internals. All right, in community, we have a release of .NET Community Toolkit. Uh, the Uno platform has an updated template uh, with simplified uh, front or uh, shared project moving to a shared library and shared fonts, etc. cetera. Uh, here's a cool uh, community library for building PDFs using a fluent syntax. And in community events, we had the .NET Foundation Summit with a lot of great stuff from the foundation and community. Uh, lots of great uh, events coming up. One I'm paying attention to is .NET Front End Day. It's a hybrid event being streamed from Stockholm. All right, that's your top news and links for this month. They're all rolled up here, and I look forward to sharing more links with you in a month.